I want to tell you that not every ear is glued exactly the same. When you take a look at this particular ear, it's a very small ear for an Irish Terrier. Okay? And you want to put it to the corner of the eye. But if I wanted to put it more to the center of the eye, all I have to do is change where I put the bend down here. Now I don't normally glue this edge. What I'll do is glue this where I want it to bend, okay, and then just tack this approximately where I want it to go. But if I was having a little trouble and I wanted to move them in, I'd put some glue in here and I'd create that crease where I wanted it to be. Being a small ear, um, you want to keep your brake low because it, you, it gives you more ear out here toward the, toward the eye. If this was a big ear, you would put your brake up higher, which uses up some of that front ear oh, and so makes... Gives it the appearance that it's smaller. Right. Okay, that, that makes sense. This is tincture of benzoin. You can buy it in any um, drugstore. And it is an ana uh, antiseptic, and it also is a little bit tacky. Oh, it helps okay. the glue stick, and it protects the skin from the glue. So, at what age do you start gluing? At about 10 weeks. Well, normally it stays on um, three weeks or so. And then you unglue them and, uh, and see what you've done. So, I Any put the glue on, I'm letting it set for a second, and then I'll take and put it, the uh, brake right where I want it. So you do your break first, yeah. and then bring your tip break your first, over. and then bring my tip up. Now I'm going to place the tip a little higher than where I want it to be, so it's going to fall down because it's going to fall a little bit. Once that's on, I put a little bit back here. That creates the back bend because the ear goes up, back, and then over. Okay. So this is going to create that up and back. Right now what about other factors like teething or you know anything well, like that? When they're young, they are growing bone, they are teething, um, all that requires uh, calcium. Mm -hmm. So this uh, step is they also need calcium for because they're they're setting cartilage. So it's important to keep the ears glued the entire time they're teething. And then it's also important to um, get them on some kind of calcium supplement oh, that's at a good this idea. stage. So as you can see, all of this has a reason. You don't just stick ears up because that's how your friends stuck them up. You have a reason for what you're doing. Stop, puppy dog. Well, I like the part of the size. I mean, you can make what you want to see. Yes, because... you can. Now, how long do you normally leave your ears? I mean, even if they come undone, and at what age do you like to at least make sure that they're glued till? Um, until they're done cutting teeth. Okay. Which is, you know, can be five, six months old. You can see I'm not using like lots and lots of glue here. If you have a dog that um, is digging at their ears a lot, mm -hmm. you can tape the ear and it will help. But what you use is vet wrap. Okay. Vet wrap sticks to itself, not to the skin. And the other thing it does, that you, when you're using vet wrap, you'll come down here and cut it off. You put the vet, vet wrap on, but you put glue on here and here. Oh, okay. So it makes like a cast. Right. And then you cut the bottom part of the vet wrap off because it will cut their throat like a knife in a few right. days. Okay. If you use things like duct tape, which some people do, it cuts their skin very quickly. You have to be extremely cautious of that. That's a properly set pair of ears. And you don't see a whole bunch of glue. And this dog will have his ears glued easily for the next three weeks. So he's not digging, and and after that three weeks, usually the other hair is going to grow longer, and it's eventually going to break away. Right, it okay. grows off the head. You know, the hair underneath the mm -hmm. head grows, 
and it releases and then you can uh, usually um, cut it away pretty easily and you don't disrupt the skin you don't want to you don't want to rupture the skin it makes if you rupture the skin or irritate the skin it makes it that much longer before you can re-glue them again because you have to wait for the skin to heal now what about the ears breathing while they're being glued? there's plenty of air right okay. there good I've seen people seal that yeah, yeah. that's just stupid <laughs> <clears throat> now don't hold back any words just no well anybody can tell you that if you have a um, an area where you don't get a lot of um, air but it's warm and it's moist you get yeast infections mm -hmm. and that's what you'll get in ears very quickly now what about other breeds I mean if basically the same principle just same principle out. different ear where you want them is a little bit different okay so you're gonna move it around accordingly you know and a wire fox terrier has their ears very very high so that's what you're gonna try to do but in like uh, shelties collies well of course those you just to glue in the tip over mm -hmm. so that's a little bit different so you figure out what you want at your fold glue that the same method exactly okay Sounds good. All right, Dan. Thanks. You bet.